Okay, my name is Griff, and I'm from the Super Furry Animals. Uh, my name is Bumf, and I'm also from the Super Furry Animals. You got a new album, Rings Around the World. Can you explain the album title? Um, the title refers to all the lines of communication um, that you can't see that surrounds the world. And if you could see them, it would look like a messed up Saturn style planet. Uh, if you could see all the radioactive waves going from you know, radio stations to people's houses via satellites and phone calls going from one person up to space then down to someone else's house and if you could see all these words going around and around the earth, basically. It's, it's sort of a, a cosmic <laughs> feeling to it. Um, well, no, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, something real. It's invisible. Yeah, the rings around the world. You mean you mean? Yeah, the uh, the actual. I mean, you can't touch it, you can't smell it, but it's there. You came in uh, in the English charts at number three. I heard. Uh huh. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. And what about the former albums? Was that has that ever been before? Um, uh, we've had one at six, one at ten, one at eleven, and one at twenty-three. So this is the first one in the top three. In the top five, yeah. Wow. Our first top. You must be proud then. Proud then. Very. Yeah. Uh, very, very and proud. and in a way, it's good that it wasn't higher because it means we have something left to achieve. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the album because there are a lot of styles in it, mm-hmm. and it, it's from class, uh, classic. It goes to pop. It goes to um, to to rock, mm-hmm. to Beatlesque music. Mm-hmm. Why uh, do we have so much styles on it? I don't know. Do you have, do you have a theory on that? I think we there's five of us in the band, and the five of us produce. We're all into different things, you know. Mm-hmm. And there's a chemistry in the band that takes the music to all kinds of places. And we have uh, a significantly different record collection, all five of us. So, if you put all those factors together you're going to get quite a diverse influence. Mm. What do you listen to, for instance? Um, Brandy and Monica and Marla and some techno stuff like Plastic Man, consumed album of amazing album. Uh, KLF, Chill Out, which is another good one. It's a lot of different styles. It's also for you? Um, I'm listening to Karki's Agotic Monkey, the new album, How I Long to Feel That Summer in My Heart. Um, what else this week? I've been listening to DJ Vadim and Killer Keller. Um, I think I've got some Glenn Campbell CDs as well <laughs> in my bag. You recorded uh, 12 songs. Uh, on the 13, 13 on their album, but they're on the DVDs, 12 songs. No, also, in a movie f- uh, s- uh, style. I've, I've seen that on the Sony poster in Holland, but there's actually, they obviously haven't looked at the DVD because there's 18 films and 18 songs on oh, the DVD. Uh, in the bio said there were uh, something like 12, 12 different films for 12 yeah. different That's songs. That's what it says on the poster as well, but there's 18. 18. And, uh, uh, the 16 remixes and there's 30 pieces, of th- 30 pages of interface, and we had to write 30 pieces of ambient music for every page, and you can go around it like a platform game. I mean, so you can find the extra six songs. Maybe a week after you got the DVD, you'll okay. hidden you'll tracks. You'll learn how to navigate around the DVD, yeah. and it's connected by 30 wormholes. So it's a completely different medium to a conventional album. So you, we have picture galleries in there and. Um, all kinds of things. Really, it, it's going to take. It's an interactive album. You can remixes as well. We've got every single song is uh, the album. Basically, we gave a song each to a remix to get uh, to a to be <laughs> to remix. <laughs> so, um, but they only had two weeks to do it. So, 
short time. Very short time, which is always frustrating Mm. in these kinds of things. We just released about a month before we finished the DVD. Hold on, we've got more space. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. we found some more space in the DVD, so we phoned up all these people and went. So fill that out. Yeah, do you fancy doing a remix for our our album? And they're going, yeah, sure. By when? I said, oh, you've got two weeks. And they're going, oh, sorry, you know, we're on tour. We're recording an album. But we managed to get people like Kid 606 and Lesser cool. and Brave Captain and um, yeah. Sean O'Hagan from the High Lamas, who have unfold. Go M, yeah. in the from Holland. They remixed uh, a track over the internet. It's a miniature. It's about 20 seconds long. Can you tell us about the movies on the album, on the DVD? Uh-huh. Okay, we gave every song to a different director and none of the directors had ever made a video before. So they came to it with fresh ideas and most of them made it at home on a home computer or with DVD, cam- you know, DV cameras. Mm-hmm. Were they filmmakers? Uh, s- some of them were filmmakers. There was t-shirt designers, illustrators, hairdressers. Kinds of people, graphic yeah. designers, uh, um, lunatic, <laughs> yeah, c- yeah. cult, um, <laughs> uh, pornographic cult uh, yeah. worshippers. Uh, how did you find them? Friends or something? Or friends, friends of friends, and crazy you, people you we saw on the internet. Yeah. Um, you gave them a camera and make your movie. Yeah, well, we gave them some money. We had the budget of one promo video to make the whole DVD. So um, they were all done really cheap, but everyone was keen, you know. There was lots of enthusiasm, and everybody had interesting ideas. And I think only two films were made on 35 mil. There's two sort of films that look like yeah. proper films. Yeah, which one? Uh, no Sympathy. Yeah. And uh, that's got, uh, what's that? Uh, Uma Thurman's brother stars in No Sympathy as a kind of... Jesus figure. Okay. We couldn't afford the humor. It's like a B movie. We got a brother in instead. Will those movies always uh, uh, also be released as a single? But I think with Juxtapose we're going to have to change the video because the promo video is of a helicopter flying into a skyscraper in New York. <laughs> so really? Yeah, so really fucking scary. So. Uh, w- uh, w- when was that recorded? The the <laughs> video was made a few months ago. It came out in the UK. You know, in, in over, the over the summer, and it was being released in Europe. Um, you know, it's been the video's been playlisted in various parts of Europe mm. um, about two weeks ago, and which is a bit well, scary. Is, is that the, the Ju- juxtaposed with you, yeah. So um, we're gonna have to scrap that, obviously, wow. and uh, but there's a different a coincidence. Yeah, it's horrible, mm. and there's a different v- film on the on the DVD. Also had that no. aspect in it. No, it? no, that's so completely different. So we'll probably use that from now on. <laughs> okay, you know, in the scheme of thing, who cares? I mean, it, yeah. it's not yeah. important. Vi- who cares about music videos mm. when yeah, there's serious things going on? <laughs> you're, you're from Wales. Um, do you have uh, a lot of influences from that area or bands or? Um, there's people like John Cale, who's on the album mm-hmm. that you know we obviously been inspired by. Um, Bands like Gorky's Agotic Monkey, you know, there's bands like the Manic Street Preachers, that, and, um, you know, there's a lot of young bands coming through, you know. Yeah, can you name a couple? Um, there's people like MC Mapbon, and the Tustion, and Urban Poets, and El Guto. Um, <laughs> there's, you know, a whole range of music, hip-hop, and... Thank you.